Hey, welcome back to YK Web Solutions. My name is Yusuf Khan and today I'm going to show you how to create a responsive user interface product website. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a, your product website, what should be the layout, how should the creativity could, could, should be used, you know what I mean? And, and it could be easy to navigate as it should be responsive. So let's see how we do it, yeah? So I've created a, a folder called product website. I created two files there, index.html and css.html. I got some relative um, some relative pictures which I'm going to use in this website. So let's start. So this is a basic structure of your HTML document, product website. I give a title product website. Yeah and in html just go en right let me see quickly how does it look at the moment there is nothing it's just my title product website so first we need to include some files yeah but before that important uh, code is metachar set utf then i'll go for a viewport meta name is equal to viewport then content is equals to width is equals to device width and then it would be um, this initial scale is equals to one yeah now I'm going to uh, include my external style sheet so that will be uh, but before that uh, I have to use my bootstrap so so my bootstrap will be I'm going to copy paste the link from w3 bootstrap because I'm using it 3.37 oops I'm gone. Uh oh. Mm. Right, and if we scroll down to the W3 schools, we just click on this link. So from here, link release, style sheet, bootstrap to this and till this script. We are copy paste. Yeah. Right. And after that, I have to do indentication. So that will be. Oops. So that will be like this. Now I will include my external style sheet so that will be link release style sheet and inference will be style.css So my header part is done yeah now I'm going to use a nav bar so the nav bar I'm going to use a bootstrap nav bar so what we do I go back to my um, w3 schools website and use that theme and through that theme i will use this nav bar yeah 
Ya. So I'm starting from here. Where's the nav class is starting and ending? Where is this nav class is end here? Control C. You can take any navigation bar which supports uh, which supports uh, 3.37 and it says Bootstrap 3.37 and I just copy paste it here. And when I copy paste it here. I will let me see just deleting this drop down thing and ending on my contact and control S. let's see how my page looks I'm closing this closing this and go to my product website so this is the bar I got if you see home band tour contact instead of band I change it to brand or services or you can put features that looks good about your product yeah we do it capital yeah and then boom yeah and features and we can say replace this the tour and say about yeah and this about I'm changing it to features right but anyway, I'll give uh, this about, oops, close it. And this about should be about, not tour. And what I do, I just copy it because I want to align it. So I'm copying it and paste here. So they all look, the align home, about, features, contact, yeah. Let's see how it goes. Yes. Now I'm going to start my Jumbotron. And in the Jumbotron, I'll start writing um, my Jumbotron code on the CSS. First, we have to design our Jumbotron. So in the Jumbotron, right, I just start Dev class Jumbotron text center right and just close this class just always remember as a rule of thumb when you open any div you have to close that div otherwise you'll get stuck that which div was what yeah and inside the jumbotron yeah I'm going to use div class is equals to bottom now what is bottom I will define this class it's it's a self-defined class in the CSS which I will explain later right and just close it and inside of bottom I will create a container class div class is equals to container and it will have two classes inside so one is container one is BG I will define everything later on just keep doing it and I will define everything 
and inside the BG, yeah, I will create one raw dev class as I'm using bootstrap. I'm using raw. One, two, three, four, one, two. See, I made a mistake. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, this is coming for a container. And this is a raw glass. Yeah, and now inside this row, I will create a column div class, and that will be call md four. Yeah. And I close it. Oops. And within that container, within that raw, what we do, we just do indentication. I create another one because the page splits into 12 columns. So I create, oops, dev class is equals to column md8. So there are 12 columns, so I created two of them, yeah. And just close this one. Yeah. So this is a simple layout of my page. Let's go. This is how it is, right? Now, I give a styling to my navbar first. So what we do, we go to dot navbar. Yeah. And then first I define the font family. Font family would be mont this is another um uh, font family yeah so m o n t s e now m o n t s e r montserrat and then comma and send serif yep go then margin bottom will be zero background i'm going to introduce a gradient so that will be linear linear gradient and i give values like to right then i give value of uh, hash two four C six D C and then I give another value hexadecimal value fifty one four A nine D and semicolon border will be zero. Font size will be 11 pixels, right? And then 11 pixel, I will write down important. Yeah.
letter spacing will be letter spacing will be I put four pixels and opacity will be point oops point nine and padding I usually keep fifteen pixels. Now this is a nav bar, yeah. Now what about list item in the nav bar or anchor? So I do like a not dot nav bar ally list and anchor and put comma. Uh, yeah dot nav bar dot nav brand and it will be nav bar yeah open parenthesis and it will be color Together. Color will be hash F -F -F. important. Then come out from there, yep, and then you do a uh, dot nav bar. It will be a uh, dot nav bar hyphen nav ally oops hyphen nav ally a hoover. Now I'm setting hoover, yeah. And it will be opacity. We well, want to give a transparent look a little bit. Yes, yeah, so it will be opacity 0. 0.8. And again, important. Yeah. Then I give uh, who was done dot nav bar nav li dot active. Yeah, and then anchor, oops, color, oops, columns, color, it will be color, I put, mm. F, 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 yeah, and then, bottom. Important and then background color. The background color would be two nine two nine two C. Important. Yeah, we come out from there here and now. We are going to tell um, toggle nav, nav bar hyphen default dot nav bar toggle oops toggle yeah and it will be border color transparent see so this is a gradient effect that's how it's coming up yeah and that's the thing that's the effect I wanted to bring and I brought now I go back to my index page and I'll start writing my first column 
yeah so inside the column md4 it takes only this size yeah first i write down the heading h2 inside the h2 i i give name to this product the new age app the new age app yeah and i say is an um is a beautifully developed oops beauty fully developed creative creative oops creative product which will help you which can help your new mobile app mobile app or anything else go yeah so that's what we do and i would like to give a styling it's an inline style i'm doing styling which will be text align center and justify no uh, that will be text align justify and max width would be 400 pixels right and i also advise when you're doing this exercise just make changes to your values so it will make you better understanding about maximum width if you change text align to justify to center you change max width from 400 to 600 pixel it will show you how does it look so let's go it comes like this yeah but don't worry i'm going to fix it but if you see because it takes four columns here so the rest of eight columns come on this size and it's coming on your left hand side yeah and now We go to CSS bottom. You remember I just shown you the thing called here. It's coming because of this. You remember this class bottom because the bottom is not defined. That's why it's up. So we need to define the bottom. So it will it will be settled. So the bottom margin top will be 250 pixels yeah see it came here so it takes 250 pixels and come here yeah now i'm going to work on my on column eight but before that i just think we should do it yeah we should go for um column eight and the column eight it's simple nothing you just bring your picture now let me see on my folder it will be phone case and png yeah so I will bring image source is equals to phone case dot png control s and boom the picture is arrived now I have to scale it so 
so for that what we are going to do we have to give a style so over here I give this coming on jumbotron so I have to access jumbotron J U M B jumbo T R O N jumbotron yes then image width 80% and height auto yeah see it came up like this yeah so this is your product so you can start writing about your app what happened here this and that now I have to define jumbotron as well right so we go there just before jumbotron image first jumbotron yeah and inside the jumbotron I have to give like a background color oops not the background color background only uh, I want to give another linear gradient effect gradient and inside this to right yeah then hash two four c six dc yeah then hash five one four a I need to get fantastic then I have to give color white and font family would be um, um you say century gothic yeah I could be a uh, hundred each and margin would be zero right and I meanwhile to make a better I just change it to 69 Oops. 69 so bottom class will be more nice and then um, I've done jumbotron jumbo right and uh, I need to do jumbo h2 as well so jumbo tron h2 I use h2 so that will be margin top 60 pixels yeah now let's see how does it look see now it looks nice it's completely embedded the navigation bar if you can see the navigation bar is completely embedded and emerged in the color of this because I keep the same linear gradient value of the of the navigation bar and plus my jumbotron so it gives the same effect now soon i will start developing more um the page will scroll down and you'll find the the thing i leave the logo section as it is it's up to you what you like to put there right let's go further right let's go further right um so i just realized we as I'm going ahead I don't need another class BG I can work without it so I'm making change here yeah let's see how it goes yeah it's the same bring it down okay let's go down now after when you do this you come out from this row yeah 
and let me bring it down and we create another class one div class yeah um, which will be a container fluid bg hyphen one right as we open it obviously we have to close it as well right and then we give h1 and we say like discover what all all the buzz is about and between the all and buzz i just use we are right and close it yeah and then i start paragraph yeah with bold close bold and start writing our app is available on any mobile device download now to get started yeah and after that uh, within this within a div class fluid container I will create another div div class is equals to footer right and I just close it and in the footer I put pictures right so image source is equals to um, what's the name of it app and play yeah so I just put app dot PNG right and I give another one image source is equal to play dot PNG right and I also give a style height 40 pixels and the same height this one should be 60 pixels because it was horizontal yeah and then the divs are closed so let's see how does it look yes that's all coming on this way I have to improve it so what we do we go to style sheet yeah and start defining bg1 and everything yeah so dot bg hyphen one which is mentioned on my class here yeah? background color would be uh, f1 c four zero f and padding 80 pixels and font family Entry Gothic Text Align Dev 
you will see a bit improvement yeah so this is the color they come up like like this now I have to define the headings and everyone so bring it more down yeah so it'll be dot bg hyphen one h1 and font size will be 50 50 pixels property set to 50 pixels and font family you don't have to because you already defined it there 50 century gothic anyway but i'm defining to make it more clear sometimes your editor makes funny things so that's the thing so it's bit enhance i hope you will like it here yeah? now we go further down and we go to our design phase we come out from this and do what we do uh, we create another div here yeah. div class is equals to container container fluid bg this time it will be bg2 yeah and we do text center and bg2 and we close it always keep remember to look after your identification if you do your identification that's how you work smoothly every tag should be aligned all tags should be aligned and inside the relevant tags it will be easy to understand so i'm using h1 yeah and give like unlimited features unlimited fun right and then paragraph uh, check out what you can do with our app theme right do this now i need some for um some icons right for that i need font awesome so for the font so what we do we just go there and write down w3 font awesome you'll find nice interact uh, not the interactive uh, icons yeah so i'm taking this um style sheet link and put my header so now we start with dev class is equals to column md4 yeah and close it yeah and within um, um, uh, this I'm going to put image source is equals to phone case dot png the same picture which you gave up yeah and then we just close it uh we just close it yeah we come out from the 
column md here and we give another div class container Class column MD eight, yeah, and we just close it and and before I go ahead, let me see the design. Let's close it. It comes like this yeah but I'll make my CSS so it will be fine but first let me work with this yeah uh, in the column md8 it's a bit little bit complicated but you need to understand what's happening this is a container fluid text center which has a class BG2 yeah inside I created two two columns and one column is four one is eight on the four i put this phone case picture now within those eight i will create two um different uh, uh, row and classes so let's see how i'm doing it diff class um, is equal to raw and inside just close it that row and within that row that will oops I just create div class MD6 and I'm closing it yeah and inside that will be one more right which will be what I do I just simply copy paste yeah so six and six column within the eighth column yeah, we just divide it. So and with this yes so we just go there and start writing on my this column yeah so it will be i'm accessing the awesome font i class is equals to f a f a um hyphen mobile right f a dash five x I can and hidden is equals to true one thirty pixels, right? And device
mockups. P uh, paragraph tag. And we say ready to use uh, HTML CSS device mockups. Yeah. Device mockups. And oops. No Photoshop required. And we do this. Yeah. Inside inside of this paragraph I give style max width. Margin this. Let's see. So at the moment it's not aligned, but uh, let me do these things now. I'm just copying it. Yeah. And pasting another column md6 and just make changes so inside of this that will be camera camera icon it will be same yeah and I will write down in paragraph put an image video animation or anything else in your screen right let's see how it there too but this looks a bit bigger so I need to change it to four X no. And uh, let's do size font size a bit small. Yeah, might be it works. Yes, now it's all right. Now let's do a little bit CSS. So it will be more aligned. But before I go, I just put uh, BR here. Yeah. And another BR. So it gives a nice spacing. Right. And right. And we do bit CSS. Now let's go. And we have to define now BG2 dot BG2 start oops start uh, font family what do I do we just simply copy paste uh, and we could cancel this text align and remove this Right, which is adding 80 pixels for family century gothic. Then we access BG2 and 
and then paragraph text align BG2 BG2 um, image novel scale image width should be 100% oops and high would be auto yeah now now we go for further icon dot icon D five three four seven see not scaled I just um, if you see this I just uh, give CSS for the BG mage which is like 100% where height is auto yeah and also everything is this now if you see this it's responsive as well right now we go to further now I need to bring two more things so what I do quickly uh, I create one more raw and just copy like this and because we'll save our time so we just create one more row and the same row with the column md62 inside yeah and we just put uh br yeah now this time we have to put like a sign of gift and we write down no sign up no fee Put it like this. Oops. No fee. Free to use. Yeah, free to use. Right. And uh, what we do? Uh, simple and that we change it to h3 h3 and now we write down we just copy paste the same thing uh, store long that will remain p and I take this right down here that I'll be heading and inside we write down as always um, this we offer this app is free to download and use for any purpose right boom control s now this time if you go to this we are changing it to um 
Mm. Another one which is unlock paddle. Uh, uh, yeah, unlock pad. Uh, unlock the padlock. So that will be unlock hyphen alt. So you'll find a lot of icons and font awesome. And then you can give a heading which will be open source. You can say I'm just giving a hypothetical headings, right? And then you can write down over here since this since this app is YK Web Solutions web solutions licensed right you can use it and use it commercially yeah now let's see how it looks boom but something missing here let's what happened ah mm. No, yeah, the L was missing, so it was unlock. Boom! So it's open. You can have a look. It looks nice and clean. And as you're scrolling down, you can see your navigation bar. It gives an opacity effect. You can see through. Yeah. Now we go further down. Right and uh, we go further down now um, we are going to start the third part of the page so that in the third part it will be uh, dev class is equals to the container fluid and then BG just let me have a look on something yeah BG3 oops and then close it when we close it um, we go for div class container inside of it div class container then div class We will define bottom two. Yeah. And we close it. And inside, I just try to give some space, yeah. So I'm giving some spaces, line line breaks. So I give four five times. Yeah. So it goes like this. Let me see is my video working. Sometimes my video stops. So I need to see. Yes, it's working. Yeah. So um I give first heading which will be uh let's make it like stop waiting. And then another heading. Oops. The start building. Yeah. And I give one more space, line break. And uh, I just give a thing called. At your friends, we will do hashtag and class 
equals to A. And then boom. And insert. Let's get started. Yeah. Now we go to our CSS part and we will define bg3 dot bg3 and what we do we just say background url and it will be what's the name of the file um bb i'm using this file yeah so it will be pb.jpg and we define it no repeat okay center center oops center fixed background size mouse background And then size cover cover and uh, uh, that will be attachment background size attachment which will be fixed oops fixed and uh, let me see background mode yes background cover center background repeat no minimum height 560 pixel oops dot bottom now I'm defining dot bottom yeah so it will be um, uh, and it will be bought dot bottom two actually yeah so it will be a uh, margin top 250 pixels now let's see how does it look it looks like this yeah I need to still work on it yeah get started and uh, 
right uh, now we are going for the further section Look further let me check my video um, yes um oh, it's not coming up um Mm. Okay, uh, picture is not coming up. Mm. Let me see if there is any div. Yes, and uh, URL. Oh, yes, it's here. Let me see. Yes, that's how, but it's too much down because of BR. So, what I do, I go and remove some BR. One is okay. Yeah. Yes. And then what I do, um, I need to give three and I just go dot bg3 h1 font size color white so it can be read let's see how it goes yeah now it looks better so it gives a parallax effect as well so because two down I just removed this BR And boom that looks okay yeah now we go to further down and uh, I think the let's thing is not well and now we go to uh, uh, to I need to give a uh, Think. Did I define A? No, I didn't. Let's define the anchor tag here. A border none outline should be zero color white. border radius radius and border radius should be uh, 50 pixels and uh, border solid and cursor will be pointer Twenty four pixels transition margin right. 
50 pixels. Right, uh, I need to give a hover effect as well. Um, but before that, um, adding 10 picks and 25 picks. Let's see. Yes, I have to give a hover effect. A double colon hover, but before that, I need to access it. Dot a hover. Yeah. None background color. Right. Background will be uh, let me think. Opacity. And then transition point three seconds. Let's see how it goes. Red color. So this is your pink, and you can start now. Further is this. Now we have to create class div class is equal to container BG or Text, text center V I class and this I'm going to put a, a, another font awesome yeah and that will be F A hard then um, aria hidden yeah and is equals to and There is equals to true, yeah, and we'll give a style. This style would be crimson. Crimson I new friends. We just make a new friend. So we new friends, right? And then we, we love new friends. This is what I'm going to show. Just have a look. It's here. 
Now, um, within this class, I'm also defining footer. And I close this div here within a uh, fluid class bg4 i will define the bg4 as well right so over here i'm using like i class is equals to f a f a facebook facebook Five X icon one and then Arial is equals to FA and we just change it to Google because I'm putting all the social media icons over here the font awesome right Google and we will change in this way Google We will do icon 2 over here and that will be Twitter. Let's put Twitter, yeah. Um, true, yeah. And now I will define these here. So what we do, we already defined the icon. That was icon one, I think. Let me see. Yes. Now I'm going to define first BG4. Dot BG4. Oops. dot bg4 and uh, that will be padding I put 65 pixels and then background color And that will be um, F1 C4 0 F and font family Century Gothic Icon One Century 
16 pixel one e three seven nine nine yeah and transition will be 0.3 seconds and what I do I just simply copy paste for this And then, oops, there's one more dot icon, and this one will be icon three for Twitter. Yeah, same value, same thing, but the color, but the color will be different. So it would be thirty-four um, nine eight db yeah then we have to put a hover effects on this so dot icon oops dot icon one hover Over one transition. Point at three is And then I'm copy pasting all of them the same. Yeah. Change it to icon three. See, mm. we have this blur effect as well, Hoover effect, and we love new friends. I hope you will like my video. Yeah, and it's responsive as well. So if you go to inspect and that's how it look on different devices, right? And it's responsive as well. You just scroll down. And if you want to give links to it, just use the ID thing and that will be all. Yeah. I hope you will like my video and if you like it, just please click on like button and also subscribe my video. It encourages and motivates me for bringing new videos for you. I target at least 100 subscribers for my channel. So if you can help me in that, I'll be very grateful. Right. See you soon. See you next time. Until then, cheers. Bye.